All right, step one. Look at the new boots on this thing. Sweet. They match the back ones. Uh, time to build a bumper. I got a Canadian Tire winch, Motomaster, 400 and some bucks. And then I took off the dirty old bumper. Now it's time to build one. I'm going to do something a little different than the last one. I'm not exactly sure yet, but uh, basically, like everything else, I'm just going to kind of wing it. God damn it, are you fucking with me? So here we are. It's been a couple hours since I filmed last. So I got the two big plates mounted on the frame. And then I got the cross plate for the winch. And then the winch is bolted down. And as you can see, because I'm lazy, I paint everything as I go because uh, I don't want to take it back apart to paint it. And uh, it's doing a really half-assed job. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end up building a brace that plates right here and uses the factory bolts from the front bumper. And that plate's going to come down at an angle to about there. And same thing on this side, giving this winch plate all kinds of strength. And then, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's coming along. Building a bumper isn't that hard. The issue is, this is the easy stuff. I'm doing the, the, the fundamentals. It gets more complicated once you start trying to make it look good, which we'll see how far I go on this one. I'm going to do something different on this one than I did on the last one. The last one, I tried to make it look like a done-up lifted truck I found on uh, online. This time, I'm going to try and make this one look more like uh, what's on the front of like a bed truck. So it'll be a pipe in the front and then a plate on top. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for uprights or anything yet. I'll figure that out as I go, but this is a one-ton dually, so it needs a more heavy-duty, less sporty bumper. So I've been working uh, 12 and a half hour days, so I, uh, I'm only putting in a couple hours a night on this. And uh, this is as far as I got tonight. I got the tubes cut out. Obviously, this garbage in the front's not staying. I'm gonna cut all that off after. And uh, I'll end up leaving a lug at the bottom to put a clevis on, on both sides, a toe clevis. And uh, yeah, it was a little challenging to get the angles just right, but I think I got them. It's nice and level. Um, obviously, it's still pretty roughed up. It's not even fully welded or anything, but this is the, the theme I'm going for. So there'll be a skid plate going down, a flat plate on top, hiding the winch. And then I haven't figured out what I'm going to do for the for the top bar yet. Something fairly aggressive, I'm sure. Uh, I went with thin wall stuff because it's what I had laying around, and because this is it's still plenty strong. It's it's only eighth inch, but that's that's fine. And then I built the angle supports that are going to be right there. You can see that right there. So that'll be welded on and bolted to the factory mount. I got a couple of those. I'm going to drill them in town at work since I my drill press is a piece of junk. So I'll do it. Yeah. One thing I will say is if you're going to build anything, buy one of these saws. Those 8-inch Milwaukee. It doesn't matter what brand it is. But man, do they do nice cuts. They do beautiful cuts. Makes your life easy when you're dealing with this 3-8 stuff or half-inch plate. I've heard of guys cutting 3-quarter plate. A welder let me use it to cut half inch plate on site and then right then and there I decided I was going to buy one magic so I worked even more hours today so I'm makes it hard to get anything done on this thing when you work a pile of hours but uh, as you can see I got the plate mounted in the front that's a thick plate because that's where the fair lead's going to be and then I got the support brackets welded in those, those are the factory bumper mount bolts that are like a gang bolt and you just use them and the factory mount nuts and everything just lines up, flawless. I, I have to trim that garbage off, but, and then uh, I trim these down. They're not finalized or anything. I just trimmed all the excess off and I'm gonna end up shaping this and putting um, toe hooks there. Uh, obviously everything looks rough. It's pretty hard to, to get an idea of what you're going for with a, with a rough finish like that, but it's coming along a couple hours at a time. It'd be nice to have some time off to do this. So all this time I've been wondering why this thing kind of looked goofy to me, this bumper. But it's because I'm standing on a ramp. And the ramp's so high. So it looks like the bumper's really low, but it's actually just because the truck leans slightly forward and I'm working on a raised surface. 
so it actually makes it look kind of goofy and obviously that's not finished so i welded on the front plates so the front of the bumpers the solid parts done like the solid part of the front is done that's all quarter inch plate and thicker now it's time to do the tops and the sides and then i'll have to build whatever surround i haven't figured that out yet the top protector the deer catcher whatever you want to call it but uh yeah a couple hours here a couple hours there it, it just takes effort that's it so once again i worked until late so i put in the support braces from the plate mount of the frame to the uh where the angled pipe comes, I'll just show you, it's easier this way. Anyway, this is all still in mock-up, but there's a plate that goes to the frame over there. This is not done at all. Um, so I put those in, those cross plates, they make the bumper stronger. And then I did the top bars, and then I started measuring for the verticals. But it's dark and I'm tired, so I'll do it tomorrow. But... Uh, it's starting to look like a bumper. It's starting to look like a proper bumper. Yep. Haven't quite exactly figured out the vertical design, but uh, it's gonna be a lot like my crappy old Power Stroke was. I'm just gonna, it's gonna be uh, slope forward for a moose catcher, and I'm gonna put a bunch of lights on it. I got some sweet KC Daylighters, cause this thing's gonna be era correct to 1992, like it's supposed to be. And I ordered a bug deflector for it too because, uh, well, once you fix this, this little bit of rust, I'll clean it off, paint it, and then put the bug deflector on. You don't have to pretty it up as much and it should last longer that way anyway. Oh, and uh, this is an important one for everybody out there fabricating a bumper or fabricating anything really. So every once in a while, you're gonna end up with some big gaps. Like it just, it just happens. There's gonna be gaps. I mean, you can spend all the time in the world trying to get rid of gaps, but my answer is to use bolts. So right there, there was a big gap. I'm gonna buff that nice and smooth when it's done, but uh, I used a bolt as filler. And I used another bolt over here as filler, did the same thing. And I used a bolt on top, and I used a bolt in many places, and people might argue that it makes it less strong or something, but uh, no, I don't care. So it's been about a week since I made a video, and unfortunately, the last one, the last little stretch of working on this thing, I never videotaped because I'm, because uh, I'm dumb. But uh, basically, all I did was I put in the vertical bars. They still have some work to do. They're a little tall. They're probably gonna end up getting knocked down about two inches to three inches. We're not sure, but for the time being, it's done. I tested the winch. I tested the lights. Everything works. Um, yeah, all all that I. I missed when i was videotaping the completion was the top bars and the capping of the sides everything else was done so it was mostly just painting it with that asphalt paint but uh it's not bad like i said it's a little tall i might knock it down but uh the price was right i think i'm into it for less than a thousand bucks well that's for obviously the price the winch and the lights are most of the cost other than that there's a 160 dollars of steel the rest of it was all recycled garbage like usual, but uh, let me know what you think. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed I didn't record better at the end there, but I've been uh, working 14 hours a day for the last week, so I've been kind of picking away at it here and there and not, not diligently recording as much as I should. This thing just needs its, uh, its decal kit that I ordered for it down the side, and then I'll put the F-350 badges back on, and she's, she's just cherry.